Good evening, I'm Lou Raguse. Concerned neighbors in Newfane came out tonight pushing to keep local jobs in the area. Eastern Niagara Hospital has plans for layoffs. And News 4's Rachel Kingston was there as the meeting started to get pretty heated. Rachel? Well, the community in the town of Newfane has been at this fight for months. For the first time tonight, the hospital's CEO and chairman came to a public meeting. But about an hour in, all the frustration boiled over. <laughs> It was supposed to be a meeting for sharing information about the continued fight against layoffs and service cutbacks at Eastern Niagara Hospital in Newfane. But when the hospital's chairman got up to address the crowd, not from you, nope, don't want to hear nothing. Not from you. People just couldn't stand to listen. We, as a community, turned our backs and walked out because they have shut us out, and we do not agree with what they're doing. And we're trying to make that statement very clear. They don't want to listen to what we have to say. They want to say we refuse to communicate with them. No, actually, they refused to communicate with us. And you saw a perfect example of it tonight. Eastern Niagara Health System has said it needs to reorganize by moving all inpatient services to its Lockport Hospital and cutting 60 full-time jobs in Newfane. Citizens and staff accused the board members and CEO Claire Carr of mismanaging money, lack of transparency, and creating a toxic work environment for hospital employees. What they want to do is close down our rural hospital and trade it for an ambulatory care center that has a higher profit margin. We are now petitioning the Attorney General to vacate the entire board of directors. I have absolutely no concern about the Attorney General uh, becoming involved and trying to have us removed. We're now confronted with making some tough decisions. Tough decisions are made every day in business, and unfortunately, Hospitals are businesses that have to sometimes make tough decisions. And we are going to fight and we're not going to stop, but we would like, I would like, a hospital given back to the community. Take it from yes. us. Yeah. Yeah. On top of petitioning the Attorney General, SEIU 1199 Union has asked the State Health Department to get involved. The town of Newfane has even hired an attorney specializing in health care. Eastern Niagara Health System says the consolidation will occur by mid-October. Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 10.